Hey there. So today I'd like to talk about an open source project I've been following for quite a while now called DeepSpeech. DeepSpeech is a speech to text engine in development by the Mozilla Foundation. DeepSpeech uses TensorFlow to train its machine learning models. The current popular speech to text engines are all proprietary and centralized and owned by Facebook, Amazon, and Google. And they require you to always be online and they keep copies of your recordings. And obviously that's not secure nor private. An open source speech to text engine will be able to be run offline. It'll be useful for a lot of projects such as voice assistants. So I'm really looking forward to it when it gets when it gets starts getting really good. Another benefit of um, running it offline is it'll have much lower latency, which is good for some use cases. And I can actually give an example of an application I'm writing that uses an online API and why it's a problem that it has high latency. So here is an application I've been working on that's using Facebook's speech to text API. And we'll just check how long it takes to recognize what I've said. It'll be checking the latency, basically. You there? I'm here. How can I help? Cup of tea? Game of cards? You need me to shoot anything in the face repeatedly with a massive laser? And that's my favorite thing, actually. I am leaving the ship. Go on, then. You can proceed. So we'll check. The first one took three seconds. Actually, the, this is better than it usually is. It's usually more four, five seconds to recognize what I've said. But imagine a scenario. This, what this application does is it sends commands to a game so I can use my voice. So imagine I said shields 100% because I'm being attacked, right? And um, it took five seconds to respond because there was latency. That wouldn't be ideal because in five seconds I could, it could be too late and I could have died. So there are use cases when you'd want very low latency. And having an offline speech to text engine is ideal for low latency. Okay, so there is a pre trained model for deep speech. But it's trained on American English and it still has a pretty high error rate. And um, if you don't speak in an American accent, I guess it's going to have a tougher time understanding you. But, anyways, let's just have a play with it and check it out. And actually, what I'll do here in the beginning is I'm going to put on my headphones so I can hear this. Experience proves this. Well, it doesn't look like it's exactly what he said. He said experience proves this, and it said proofless. Let's try out another one. Why should one halt on the way? And that's exactly what she said, okay? He did find it soon after dawn and not far from the sand pits. Okay, that was in a New Zealand accent and it recognized it like perfectly, you see there. Does it have an easier time recognizing females? Because the last one it got right was also a female. Almont Memorial is also known for having its award-winning model United Nations Club. Wow, that's going to be complicated for it to understand. It only got a few words right. <laughs> Why didn't they wake me? Why didn't they wake me? Okay. Got most of it right. Hundreds of yelling people are swarming into the park like locusts. As you see, it said a bunch of gibberish here, 
people are swarming into their pack like locusts. Okay, we'll do a few more. So what we'll do is we'll just loop through them this time. Copy this. We're in the wrong directory for that now, so do that. And we'll go... Okay, give this a try. Add token. What? Oh! I wouldn't think he would use the same music. The original passenger station building was still standing the until doing the shot played oh in God. was the border junior. It is one of the longest cable stayed bridges in the a world. A keyboard with trackball is the input device for operation Millions of the system. Millions of bulbs are exported annually from Turkey and France Georgia. no longer uh, possesses land Three projects oh my God. are in full the swing. Fundamental. Okay, I, I effed that up. Admittedly, I effed that up. Okay, okay. That's because I did only one and sign, but in theory, I think if I go like this, it should work. I wouldn't think he would use the same music. The original passenger station building was still standing until demolition. The first league the club played in was the Border Junior League. It is one of the longest cable stayed bridges in the world. A keyboard with trackball is the input device for operation of the system. Millions of bulbs are exported annually from Turkey and Georgia. France no longer possesses land-based nuclear missiles. He is buried in the family vault of New Battle Church, Scotland. Aircraft would have been used to resupply the tanks and keep the breakthrough moving. The first three projects are in full swing. The fundamental attribution error refers to a bias in explaining others' behaviors. In some cases, a brute force approach can be used, as mentioned above. As you can see, their accuracy rate is not very good, but it did get a lot of the words mentioned in some of those recordings. A lot of the tests I just did was using the New Zealand accent. If I would use the American accent, the accuracy rate would have been even higher. Because deep speech is trained using machine learning, Mozilla need large amounts of data. In this case, the data is uh, voice. So this is a great way f for people who do not know how to program to contribute to an open source project. So they need voices from all accents, genders, and ages. All you'll need is a microphone, or you could even use your, probably use your smartphone to do it as well. As you can see, I can click this speak button here. You simply have to read the prompts. Sometimes there are foreign names in these prompts. If you do not know how to pronounce it, you could either look, look up how to pronounce it, or you can just click the skip button. So we simply click the record button and it will prompt us for permission to use a microphone. The role earned him an Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actor. It was written and directed by Paul Schrader. There are also numerous small groups which meet at the church during the week. Okay, once you've finished, it pays to put on some headphones or something and review and make sure it is what it says. Now, if you mouse over the play button, there'll be a pop-up, which and then you can read that and listen at the same time to make sure you spoke what it said word for word and make, make sure you did not mispronounce or stutter or add any words. The role earned him an Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actor. It was written and directed by Paul Schrader. While Page's study is greatly informative, it does lack some valuable information. Looks good to me. On a side note, it is very helpful if you create an account and log in and just let them know your, which accent you have, your age and your gender. You do not wish to record your voice. You can actually click the 
listen button and verify other people's recordings. When listening to these recordings, bear in mind you'll be listening to people with several different accents who might have a different pronunciation than your own. So use your best judgment when deciding whether what they said was correct. The main thing is to make sure they did not add or skip any words or stutter. You can always click the skip button if you're not sure yourself and let someone else verify it. Fogg is a member of Farmer's Walt Newton family. Sounds good to me. It is bright aquamarine by itself and greenish blue in a neutral solution. The following table of Navy ranks illustrates those of the Russian Federation. Okay, those all seemed good to me. By the way, they also need other languages as well, not just English. Okay, so you can actually download these data sets. They update it every like four or six months or something like that. So you can download this data set. It's a very big download, 38 gigabytes. That's compressed. So when you extract it, I think it's over 100 gigabytes. And you have to agree to some terms and conditions when you download these data sets, like not trying to identify any of the people who have done these recordings. Okay, if you wish to train your own model, which is quite complicated and very expensive. I mean, to train your own model, you'll need very specialized hardware, like a you'll need like four GPUs and you probably have to leave them running for like weeks or months in order to train your own model. But you can make it faster by um, just extracting the data you need from these data sets. So we can go data in here because it comes with these uh, spreadsheets. So we can go standard filter, for example. Then we can go accent and we can say New Zealand, and we can say and, and we can even say, let's say if we only wanted to create a model for ourselves, like if I wanted to create a model for myself, which I'm not going to do because I don't want to leave my computer running for like four months and ruin my graphics card. If I had like specialized hardware or four GPUs, I'd consider doing this. All right. So now that's filtered down, we could just grab the file names and move them into a different folder and we could delete all the other audio files to free up some space. So that was deep speech. I'm really looking forward to when the accuracy on this gets really good and we can actually start seeing implementations of deep speech and open source projects. I've got some projects that I would like to work on, as you saw the one that I demonstrate. I'd like to use deep speech for that project, but it's the accuracy is not really good enough yet to use it. So, yeah. Anyways, that's all for today. See you later.